Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising, monthly tarot reading, December 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of uh, your month, guys, is going to be the Four of Wands, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the month, so that is going to be the uh, the Empress card. The third one here which represents the um, intentions or the best way how you can tackle with the endeavors throughout the month, that is going to be the Five of Cups. Followed by the third one, uh, the, the fourth one, excuse me, which stands for the uh, lesson that you are to learn throughout the month, that is going to be the hangman. And the last one here, it is about the energies that are to support you throughout the month, uh, that will be the ten of wands. Okay, so um, the first one, which is the four of wands, is going to be catalyzed in your case with the prince of swords, or it is a, um, how can I say it? Um, it is represented by the Knight of Swords in the traditional deck. So those two cards, they are a active friends and it looks like that um, you are to go that month of December for a significant um, improvement or um, you can say it breakthroughs as well uh, in your life career-wise or relationship-wise. In generally, you're going to determine to do whatever it's, it is necessary or um, how can I say it? Yeah, whatever it takes, you know, to reach a, um, um, a closure of an important cycles uh, in your life, closing up one chapter and opening a another. Therefore, you can expect throughout the month a lot of things that you are currently working on to settle out and to breed a certain results. Um, another thing here with those two cards is that should you make your decisions um, well-founded, or in other words, you lean toward uh, your intelligence, okay, and as well uh, your keen mind, uh, it is likely that you are not going to undermine as well your emotions because um, that is something that you are going to have such series throughout the months. I mean, uh, whatever decision you make, although well found and intelligent, will also going to be in sync with your emotions. And therefore, uh, we will allow you to start working on a, uh, a, a things that you have planned for a long time. You know, it could be something that you wanted to do two, uh, two years ago, and now you do have the chance to do so, and so on and so forth. So my point is here is that and ideas that were lingering for quite a long time, now in the month of December, they can start manifest themselves by you and by your efforts. Now, the other card here, which is the challenge that you will have to overcome, that is going to be the Empress. 
and while it is accompanied here by the uh, high priestess or catalyte so we do have a passive friends a very strong very very big challenge and that is a challenge of maturity and ability to detach ability to wait as well um, this is what I am trying to say so those two cards are pointing that um, whatever you go for after the, uh, the the ending of those cycles of development needs to make sense it needs to have um, reason behind it all right and also uh, how can I say it? You have to decide in favor of it in a very mature fashion instead of emotional fashion. You know, people do stupid things based on a uh, temporary emotions at that point. Let's say you are angry at someone, so you do stupid thing about it. Or you are in love with someone, so you do stupid thing about it. So the point here as a challenge is that you will always, I mean always, throughout this month, when you have a very important decision to make, to catch up your breath or to take a deep breath and detach yourself from the situation for a couple of days so you can, um, how can I say it, you can clear out your head if you will because with the high priestess you are going to have the profound understanding of how the situation is going to work out moving on forward. And that profound understanding could be clouded by the emotions up front from the very initiation of the matter that has to be resolved. And for that reason, you need to give yourself time before you say, yes, we're going to do it or yes, I'm going to do it or no, I'm not going to do it or no, we are not going to do it. Because with those two cards, um, whatever you involve yourself into throughout the month of December is going to be long lasting. I mean, you cannot simply, once you say yes, you cannot simply walk away. And um, the results from it could be either way bitter or sweet. I mean, they, they are going to be anybody's guess. And for that reason, guys, you need to kind of like think twice, if you will, before you act upon a, a specific uh, endeavors once you reach the finalization of those important cycles in your life. So intentional wise, we do have the five of cups and that card, wow, is going to be catalyzed by the ace of cups. Mm -hmm. We definitely are talking about here intentional wise, first of all, giving up second chances, uh, giving second chances to people and to situations and as well not losing the um, the bright perspective for the future. Now those two cards are pointing that whatever losses you have experienced recently or disappointments, they were temporary setbacks and not a permanent ones. And now it's time uh, to start th going for or thinking of um, the future uh, of a future how can i say it future potentials that are to transcend your reality into something very emotionally fulfilling right so say you recently had a breakup well that is a temporary setback and now it's time for you to start thinking of how to invite love once again into your life right you have been fired recently let's say well that is a temporary setback and now you have to start searching for a new job and those two cards here are pointing that um the new thing that it is to come from those intentions it will be far better than whatever you have lost back in the days or recently all right so intentional wise uh, if i have to summarize all that is never to give up but instead to seek for a better things and that correlates very well with finalizing the important cycles okay that is just you know um how can i say it overcoming you know breakups it could be overcoming it could be finalizing let's say divorces uh, or uh, overcoming you know uh, how can I say it, um, um, a situation of being firing, or it could be about something good. It doesn't really matter. The whole point is that you should not stop intentionally wise, but always seek better things. Because with those two cards, um, 
salvation lies behind any corner and even if you are finding yourself throughout the months of December at some portion of it uh, in the rock bottom uh, the next day you know something beautiful could happen to you uh, that will actually make your life all of a sudden or slowly progressing it doesn't really matter start worth living again you can find new love, you can find new job out of the blue, you know. So the whole point here intentionally wise is not to give up and allow a previous disappointments or setbacks to obstruct your moving, movement going forward toward a brighter heights and uh, transcending reality of daily routine. So the uh, lesson that you will have to learn here, Sagittarius, is going to be the hangman and it is catalyzed by the... Um, Princess of Pentacles, which is um, represented by the Page of Pentacles into the um, into the traditional deck, and those two cards are pointing that uh, the um, the devotion comes slowly. I mean, the true devotion comes slowly. So once again, we are leaning toward the challenge that you need to leave it a, a bit of time to take roots within your mind and within your intentions as well. So do not exclude any opportunity straight away once again, but learn how to uh, thoroughly thinking, thinking it through. Because um, a lesson learned here it is that um, how can I say it that only certain things worth proceeding forward with not everything that comes in your mind okay and uh, in order for you to have the necessary devotion in order to move forward with either a new relationship or with new job if you will um, you got to give it a, a time to think of and to figure out you know toward what end this is going to lead you to so you don't over invest into it so you are going to final verdict here is that you are going to learn how to not over invest into think into things all right by giving yourself a time to think about it and to see every single perspective of uh, this endeavor that stands in front of you. And the last card here represents the energies that are to support you throughout the months. That is going to be the Ten of Wands accompanied with the Lover's card. So uh, these are a active friends and as an active friend, um, those energies will help you not to feel... I'm not desperate. What was the word that I was searching for? Annoyed, okay? Not to feel annoyed that you have to do certain things, okay, that are required for you to move on with your new perspective. Additionally to that, those, those two cards are pointing that energy-wise, mm, your strafe is going to be always toward being in harmony, with oneself so if you have been lying to yourself what you want or what you like up until this moment that is not going to be um, any longer throughout the month of december throughout the, throughout the month of december month of december you're going to find the true muse of yourself based on those energies but uh, above everything else those energies are going to help you to make the right choice that this is I was really hoping that we do have the Two of Swords or the Lover's card into the last one here. And we have the winner, the Lover's card. So yeah, it seems that those energies will help you to decide in favor, not only of just what you have to do, but as well, it appears that what you have to do is going to be as well what you want to do also. So it looks like that you are really, really lucky here in the month of December, uh, Sagittarius, but you just have to, like said, <clears throat> okay, to uh, not give up and always trying to find a reason to move on forward once you finalize those important cycles of development that are to happen most likely uh, at the start of the month but they appear to be the foundation of the continuation of the month itself so that being said Sagittarius this was your monthly tarot reading December 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye